Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to this new format um, I'm trying to do here on YouTube every month from now on. It's called Coffee Chat and the main idea is we meet for a coffee chat in my imaginary cafe called Neturista. And I tell you what it's all about, what I'm working on at the moment, what's going to come next. Um, give you some resources I find helpful. And yeah, that's mainly the idea. I hope you like that. Um, I have to say it's uh, born on the fundamentals of my Patreon membership. So um, yeah, sponsored by them. We wouldn't be able to do it without them. And there will be some topics I talk about here for everyone public and there are some some secrets I will only spill for my very favorite members uh, for my patreons and um, first of all I want to say thank you guys you're awesome and second if you want to become my patreon I'm going to link you to the site where you can have a look at the membership and um, yeah, it would be nice to have some more supporters and I would be happy to welcome you into that inner circle. So let's get started. It is September 2022 <laughs> and this month I launch a very big collection um, which has been growing. So um, some of them, some of these knitting patterns are oldies but goldies um, and some of them are brand new. The general idea is to create a collection that really works for the whole family. So there are lots and lots of sizes. Um, there's also a um, knitting pattern. I first of all enjoy a lot to knit because it's more knits than pearls and it's only knits and pearls so it's um easy and smooth and for i think for people who just got started with knitting it's easy to make and for people who already are knitting for many years it's um yeah it's nice to relax but it's not boring so that's the that's the idea of the experience. Um, maybe even more important, I think that this pattern is suitable for men and women, boys and girls, all genders. Um, and I think uh, for me that's important. I'm not much about this whole feminine field. Um, and But I also like a certain classic elegance. Uh, some timelessness in the patterns because I would like to knit, uh, wear these knits for more than one season and yeah so that's uh, that's about the pattern it's now all knit up in one color it's the color of my year this year sage and um, I stayed with uh, with a yarn from La Mana um, comes from Germany it's a really nice company quite new the yarn is super soft and also very light I think it's really special uh, the manufactured in a kind of innovative I'm not sure how they do it to be honest but it is lighter than usual so um, I like that I really like that and they are also taking care of um, yeah being producing this in a responsible way I love the colors they're very German too <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah i would like to invite you to have a look at it um but if you can't uh get that yarn or don't want to that's also fine don't worry there are definitely uh there's definitely a great possibility to find a substitute and i'm going to help you with it but not in this video i will show you quickly the collection so you know what i'm talking about so the first hats and those are, th this is the design I'll start with this one, it's a T1303 hat. I should say that too, this whole collection is um, dedicated to persons, part of my family, 
my real family here in real life and also my knitting family online. Um, this was uh, actually a, a birthday present for my husband and his name is Thorsten. So that's where the T stands for. And his birthday is the 13th of March. So that's the 1303. I kind of made up with him the system for giving the names because we both like to watch uh, science fiction movies and some series too. Uh, so you probably know that it's a bit military style, but it's also very often in this kind of genre that uh, you have this short abbreviations and I thought it's fun to use it. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. This um, comes in three sizes. So from kids to adults with large heads or big hair. Um, you can knit for everyone. It has this beautiful crown. I think it's very really cool. This ge geometric crown. And um, this is the classic length. So I, my husband too, like to wear our head slouchy and that's uh, why I made a longer length inside the pattern too. And yeah, shortly after I made that pattern, one of my friends called and said she's pregnant again and I was already thinking about making a bonnet to add to the size range and I also feel like babies and also toddlers could use a bit of a different yeah a bit of a different constructed head I think a bonnet is more suitable for them so yeah when she calls uh, okay all right it's on I'm going to make a bonnet and I did send her the bonnet too so the baby bonnet also comes in three sizes um, because I thought okay it's for the newborn babies for the toddlers and for the older siblings too maybe somebody would like to um, have the same head that would be would be really nice so that's and that's the smallest size okay that's a bonnet um when i i think when i test knit it um anyway jeffrey one of my favorite knitters um he knit this head and afterwards he in the usual weight in sports weight and afterwards he asked me if he could knit in worsted weight because it was getting really cold and he was a bit worried about his ears but yeah so we figured that out for his head size and that worked because he got a bit lucky but generally this crown has a 16 stitch jump so it's quite a lot um, can't be made different and I knew if I want to make a knitting pattern for this head um, in a thicker yarn weight, um, I would be able to like, write it for all needed sizes. So I did create, it kind of inspired me to create another head pattern that would um, be suitable for worsted weight yarn, Erin worsted weight, and I made this one. So it's a different crown. I really think it's cool. Um, and this, again, um, it has three sizes and there is a, you know, classic length again. And there's a slouchy length. This is a slouchy length. Uh -huh. And you can wear it, you know, the street styler style, if you like it. I, I don't know why but I think it for me it's always really comfortable to wear hats like this and I think it looks cool on my head but yeah not everybody style still um my test is left and I saw it on a lot of dudes actually it was really cool I love that um so that was the first launch the next one um next pattern that comes is this one I <laughs> have to think about how to put that on. So I, I this is a asymmetrical sideways shawlet, and um, um, it's initially made for the trial lab um, to teach this kind of construction and have some kind of 
playfulness in it and but you unusual unusual things so what i'm going to add um, now is uh, really um, more instructions how to play with it um, generally it's really nice when i feel like this is something you would more knit for yourself or this is great for gift knitting and of course you can make a head for you too okay um still i feel like this is great um it's more great for yourself you should keep it and uh, yeah here i edit the in the mix um um na premia the other one is como premia is this classic silk um mohair yarn um and makes it really cozy of course you can just knit it with dk then it's also fine um yeah what else is to say so i like just like I had it on, I like that it has this um, tips here. It's kind of fun and the pointy. <sighs> Sorry. This pointy thing here in the middle. Um, yeah. Okay. <sighs> it's harder than I thought. Okay, afterwards, and this is just in test knitting, um, are this mitts on the program, on the launch program. And I have to say, these are my first mittens and they are amazing. They are so comfortable. I really love them. And I got actually the biggest compliment from my son who said, Mom, I didn't know that you can knit that good. And I was like, oh, dude, are you crazy? Don't tell me this. So sweet. So I made um, this one also for the whole family. I'm starting with his size. He's four. I feel like if you if your kids are younger, younger than three, they need something else. Not this fingerless mittens. But yeah, for him, I thought it's cool. So I started with his size and goes up to large adult hands uh, yeah can i have to say men but honestly one of my friends has one of my girlfriends has really huge hands too so it's not only men this is for my husband and i think he has kind of average adult man's hands and there's one size more so there are five sizes there's one more in between us because I have very, really small hands. Those are the mittens. I would say the mittens are um, from the skill set, those are really the most advanced. There, there's quite a lot to do, um, but yeah. If you are able to knit all the other ones, I think you can tackle those too. Um, but yeah, it takes a bit. It takes a bit more to create a mitten, and um, it creates takes even more, I think, to make them super comfortable. So this is the double cuff. This is an I cord bind off. Kind of added to a lot of things I thought are necessary to make it feel like I wanted to feel. Again. I think this. I think the, these are both for you. If you are more like an advanced knitter, honestly, it took me an evening, two hour movie to knit those. It's very quick, and your family will love it. Will love you too. Last but not least, will be this cover. And what's mostly proud about this cowl is it stands up. <laughs> How many designers do you see holding it up like this? And, and you know, if they uh, are kind of putting their hands away, it will fall down and look more like a, yeah, like a necklace. And I, I think there are cowls that are meant to be like that. But um, yeah, this one, I really wanted to stand up. I really wanted to keep the warmth and make it also really comfortable and casual. And because I, on the one hand, this is a very easy pattern. On the other hand, um, this is also doubled up. 
so there are several ways to close it. I know for most it's a classic graft stitch where you kind of sew and I know a lot of you hate that, <laughs> me included. I'm not a super fan to do it. Um, and I know that um, there are other uh, ways to do it and I wanted to teach that, um, give you some options. And I also think nobody is talking about sizes with cowls. They usually come in one size and you can make those perfect for you. I want to teach you how. So this is more workshop pattern than a classic normal pattern. All right. That was a whole lunch this month. Um, let's talk about what's coming next month, okay? All right, let's talk about what's coming next in October and give you a little sneak peek. <laughs> so the hat I'm wearing will come in October and I'm really, really proud about this one because this is my first commission. <laughs> And it's for a very, I think, a very famous yarn company. We all love Fiberco, right? And um, it's part of the Almanac series, their yearly collection. Um, yeah, I've been over the moon getting into that one. It was really, really cool for me. Felt like a huge next step and it was so nice to work with them and um yeah so it will come out at the beginning uh, in the middle of october it's knit with their yarn lore so every yarn they have is um, connected to a month and lore is um, um is the yarn for october it's uh, made completely in england um which i really like as a european it's uh, quite cool and as you can see this um has a very rustic look so generally yarn from europe um really from also from europe sheep is um, not as soft um, as merino yarn is um, but this one isn't itchy first i was very worried but it's not itchy i promise you um, it's really nice it's really cool and i love the character of the yarn for this design so the briefing for this uh, year um, almanac series collection has been i kind of forgot the word but it was like looking to the stars so my story for this head was okay imagine where can i see the stars and i think it's an open water if you're in the middle of the ocean on a boat um you can see the stars for sure there's no light pollution coming from anywhere so i imagine myself being a fisherman and this head is kind of um it's kind of inspired by it by the classic fisherman's head but um i imagined also looking to the stars and for me looking into the stars and seeing this great impactful visuals is always a supernova so that's why there is this twist in it and it's called orbital head and if you have never knit cables before um, this might be a good one for you because it's my first knitting pattern with cables and you don't need a cable needle for it you just twist two stitches so that's how you get this twist in it i think it's super um Again, I'm super proud. I'm very grateful to Fiberco for letting me in as a newbie designer. Uh, that's um, amazing. And uh, even better, when I made this head, I got the idea for another design and I asked them if they would like to give me yarn support for that one and they said yes. So currently I'm working on a wrap cocoon some people call it like that yeah um it's a bit like a simple cardigan without shoulder shaping and so on um i want you to get started with garments but create something that leaves out the headache <laughs> and 
it's kind of the same setup. I thought, okay, if I would be on that boat, I would probably start freezing and I would need something cozy to cuddle in, more like a big blanket um, to get warm again in the evenings um, after hard work, me being a fisherman. So <laughs> sometimes I like, get lost in the stories. That's fun. So um, that design um, will be knit in Cumbria. It's another de- another yarn from the Fiber Co. Um, it's the yarn for January. That's why this will come out in January. And this is more like a mix up. Um, it's a blend of different wool and um, also a bit of mohair, so it's softer. And this one is heavy DK. This is worsted. Quite honestly, I don't see that much of a difference. Um, I can feel that it's different. This yarn, quite honestly, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. It's such a dream to knit with. Um, I do love this one too. <laughs> they are both great. They are really different. So, um, yeah, what I wanted to create is first of all wrap, but I also wanted to try the real fisherman's rib because being a fisherman, and I wanted to amp up the cables. And I thought about this time more looking on the water. So this will call the water wrap. And it has this kind of my first swatch. Um, it has this beautiful stitch pattern. And I think it's amazing. I think it looks like water. It's also this color is so cool. It's like a really dark blue with some kind of more greenerish speckles. Okay, anyway, so I'm trying to find out the perfect ease for uh, actually my size at the moment. This was a bit too much. This wasn't much, uh, wasn't enough. <laughs> it's going to be somewhere in the middle. And I also did a swatch right at the beginning, um, trying to tackle down some details. And I know those are a bit creepy, minus two. It's really my doll from my childhood, um, but it helped immensely to understand how I need to build up this design. So I'm going to show it to you anyway. I hope you don't freak out. So that's um, about the idea. You probably have seen wrap or cocoon before. It's not a big secret, not something I invented. Um, um, what I want to do is a color. I think this is really important for having the full cozy impact and yeah I was trying if I want to do you know two by two rip one by one rip how I want to end up if I want to end up with an i-cord bind off or usual bind off uh, all these kind of things and um, yeah how to work this color that you can see maybe there are also two different versions so this is kind of how how I design I need to try it out a bit um, and uh, yeah it's a big if it's a big one it's better to do it uh, in a kind of smaller scale and yeah this one will come out in January but I will call for test knitters I need to call for test knitters I think in October or you all swamped up and of course I want to have more than one size and um, so it's going to be quite a big test knit and I hope I find some people in the bigger sizes that would be really cool I think it's a great one for all kinds of people doesn't matter you know where your curves are <laughs> Okay, so that one, let me get the next one. Another thing I want to do this year is um, bring out all my patterns in my new pattern layout, um, take some new pictures, but mostly add something to them with a relaunch. So this is the AD cow and this one will definitely get a relaunch in October too. And I knit this with yarn from Hedgehog Fibers. This it's one of my favorite companies. They make usually awesome hand dyed uh, colors, but this one is an even cooler product. It's called Tweedy. They were the first ones who managed to uh, recycle their scrap yarn. And that's how this tweed yarn is made. All those speckles are mostly 
from their own production. And I think that's amazing. I love, I really, really love products that produce environmental friendly, new, innovative ways. It's uh, something that always, you know, it opens up my heart. It feels so cool. And I think this is the coolest video I have ever seen. So initially this was available in this kind of classic wool white and black. Now there are some others available in a collaboration, but this is a black one. And that's also uh, the new version I want to bring out, as you can see. Also good, uh, I didn't block it yet. So you have to block it and then it will look awesome. So you knit this like this in the round and then you have to close it. Just like the cowl I uh, showed you at the beginning. So um, whatever I teach on this cowl was, uh, will also be useful for this one. And then you close it on the inside and you get this awesome tube. So my initial design is very big and drapey and I wanted it to be like this. So you see the inside and it's still comfortable and will stand up, but it is, it is, yeah, it is, it is like it is. It is as I want it to be. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give you another version to make it, um, one that is closer to your, to your neck and a bit smaller too. So this one has uh, one, one element row less and it is a bit smaller. And I will also put in the string as an after sort. Um, so there are already some patterns available and I think mostly from men, which is interesting, right? And they also say it's more like a man style, but I like it a lot. And I've seen so many women knit it um, that I really believe it's unisex. And it's fun to make this kind of eye cord with the different colors. I think you can use any scrap yarn for this. Doesn't have to be from, can be from your cow, could be other stuff. Um, and this is kind of a playful playful way to work with it. So this is, yeah, this is the AD cow in its new version. I hope you will like it. Mm. Last but not least, um, uh, let me talk a bit about the, real quick, about the main idea of this coffee chat. So this is yeah, it is born on the Patreon, from the Patreon program and the behind the scenes. And um, I give my Patreons every month a behind the scenes. So, and I will continue to do that. There will be stuff I only tell them. Um, and they are the ones that support this coffee chat it's really cool to have some people who support you have your back and um yeah you can count on um and that is yeah that is one part the other part is that i right from the beginning i had a vision for knitterista and that is that knitterista is a cafe and uh, I would say that too because a lot of people don't get it right. I have no interest about ever make ever opening a real brick and mortar cafe place, a cafe or so. Um, but I'm thinking about ways to make this idea real in the virtual world. And yeah, that's kind of switched up. It's kind of crazy, but. Um, yeah, so this cafe idea is mostly about the setup. I want to see Nitarista in, how I want Nitarista to feel for you, the place I want to invite you, where I would like to meet you. And I'm probably going to talk more about that, but let me say this very quick now. Inside this cafe, there is a corner where we have a big table and um, 
it's kind of reserved for midnight and workshops and it's also a place where you can learn and right next to the big table there is a huge 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 bookshelf um, with resources for you um, that inspire you and that um, help you can help you to you know um, yeah tackle your knitting skills and I would like to translate it here a bit and um, add to this uh, stuff where I just chat about if I would meet you in a cafe, we would do that too. Chat about um, what's going on, um, what I'm working on right now, and add one resource at least. So this month I actually bought two books <laughs> that are kind of classics. Um, I have to say, I just had a quick glance into this one. I know a lot of people are talking about it, say it's very helpful. I'm not sure. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to um, I'm going to talk about this a little later. I just wanted to add it. Um, but I found this one really helpful. You know, I just showed you my first uh, mittens pattern, and um, I feel like there are not that many resources out there that teach you how to. How to create accessories so there's there are a lot of patterns out there but not really they don't explain to you how to do it and um when i wanted to create this mittens um i kind of really wanted to have it in this collection but i needed more numbers and also somebody who would kind of explain to me where to get started and how to build it up and what kind of possibilities are there so this book was was really good and yeah I would say everybody who would like to design mittens should get this book it's um, much better than anything else um, out there you get much more numbers um, than you can find on the yarn craft council um, website although those are fine yeah but still something always felt missing and um, yeah i also need it no i'm german so how do you call that thing <laughs> at the at the sum and things like that so um yeah this kind of explanations are really cool if you're just a knitter um there are yeah all kind of uh there are several uh, designs in there too if you were into things like that um and the very basic ones are explained here too. So, ah, now that I'm searching for it, of course I can't find it. So, what is the basic? I think it's here, right? Yeah, basic mitten with lining. It's also here on the back. So, you get an overview about the classic shapes and so on. Yeah, so. I think that's it for today, at least for the public part. Um, there will be two other things <laughs> for my Patreons. Um, as I said, some stuff is still secret and for this uh, inner circle community. So if you want to wanna be part of that and um, if you would like to support my work, I'm very happy to welcome you on my Patreon program. Um, I'm going to put the link to it in my description so you can have a look around see if there's something for you you would like to you would like to subscribe so yeah all right have a nice day see you next month bye